Welcome back, I'm Peelers. Daisy Jones and the Six is bringing 70s music back with a new Prime video series and a debut album. Our music reporter, Alexa LaMalfa, is here to give us a look at all things Daisy Jones. Alexa, so happy you're here. Thanks, Leo. The 70s was more than just hippies and frilly outfits. The 70s carried on the legacy of rock and roll. Prime Video's new series, Daisy Jones and the Six, follows the rise and fall of a fictional 70s rock band and is adapted from the Taylor Jenkins Reid's best-selling novel with the same name. And what's more important than a book being adapted into a TV series? a fictional album becoming reality. The actors from Daisy Jones and the Six work together on their debut album, Aurora, that is now on all streaming services and on vinyl. This fictional band is not so fictional anymore. Author Taylor Jenkins Reid wrote her own version of the, mo the band's most famous songs, but in the show, there are only three songs that retain their original name, Aurora, Please, and Regret Me. Producer Blake Mills was tasked with rewriting new versions of the tracks and had help from famous co-writers like Phoebe Bridges and Marcus Mumford. With, within the first 24 hours of the album's release, Aurora became the first album from a fictional band to top the iTunes charts. But those tracks aren't the only songs to appear in the series. There were an additional 14 tracks exclusively written for the show. The band is loosely based on Fleetwood Mac and the drama that went into creating their iconic album, Rumors. The showrunners took that into consideration and made the relationship between lead singers Daisy Jones and Billy Dunn comparable to the relationship of Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham's. And the theme of Regret Me off Aurora seems strikingly similar to Fleetwood Mac's Silver Springs. Production of the series was halted due to COVID, which sent the actors to band camp. The, in band camp, the actors learned how to perform and interact like a real band would, but they also studied footage of famous rock stars. And for Riley Keogh, who plays Daisy Jones, even though she is the granddaughter of rock and roll legend Elvis Presley, she had never sung or played the guitar before some of the, before some of the stars have hinted to a potential tour. And I know I'll be fighting for a ticket to see this band live. Walker, back to you.